Hello and welcome to Sins of a Solar Empire Rebellion with the Star Trek Armada 3 mod. We're going to be playing as the Borg with the Borg add-on uh, against an alliance of all four other factions. So the plan is to eliminate whoever is in the same star system to begin with. We're working with, a, with three star systems and if we can secure a good front in our first star system we can hold off their attacks at wormholes and the star later on. So we need to keep expanding. If we fail to expand, we're going to lose. The Federation is going to be the only uh, hard difficulty AI, because in testing, any more was almost impossible. Alright, here we go. We serve the collective. We're going to get a force of eight interceptors and a trapezoid. Sell a bit of metal to get that eighth interceptor out. And this will be our first colony fleet. We'll supplement it with some probes early on, and maybe some dodecahedrons, but we want to switch out to mostly cruisers eventually. Cruisers and capital ships are going to have to be central to the overall plan. So we'll just wait for those interceptors to come out. We're also going to need to get out an assimilation node, I believe, we're going to want to get out first. Unless we want to get resource nodes early, which we could, but it would cause it would be a bit more difficult. Let's open with an assimilation node to get probes on the field earlier, but we don't need them immediately. Now we're going to need a nice uh, supply of income, and I. Th think that the shattered planet with all of its asteroids would be a good location to go for. So as soon as we get the fleet out and ready for colonization, we can go down to this shattered planet and get a nice mining outpost. And let's start by getting probes. Probes will be the best in, in this situation. We have four interceptors. Let's just send them now. Since the Shattered Planet doesn't have actual defenses, it has Aceton Assimilators. We can destroy them easily enough we with just the Interceptors and send in the Trapezoid to do the colonization. We don't need anything too complicated. Instructions received. So we're not in a good position for expansion. We only have three planets that we can get without having colonization upgrades. So one of the first things we're going to need is two adaptation nodes. We can get one at the Shattered Planet and one at this asteroid. And that should help deal with the need for uh, adaptation nodes and then we can move to here. Alright, Aceton Assimilators are being targeted. And the Trapezoid is already on its way to capture the point, capture the planet. Stay new directive. Now, more interceptors are here. We can leave them there to rejoin with the rest of the interceptors. All right, and we get some civic infrastructure and an adaptation node right away and then we can sell some resources to get extra mining outposts established that way we can help deal with excess or help get more resources in to build our fleet larger quicker State Let's destroy these last Aceton Assimilators, Assimilate and then send the fleet back Initiate here, and we'll meet up with the rest of them to get a... Er, to get the asteroid. Alright, one more the assimilator to target. Grow. We'll just send the trapezoid right over since Initiate it won't need to actually direct. fight the assimilator. That thing's gonna die before it even gets there. Oh, 
Now as for extra fleet, I'd like to get four probes in to act as corvettes. They don't work Proceed quite as center. well since they basic since the interceptors have very we similar stats, but they do the but they do the trick, so. It's worth getting a few of them in. These are not necessary for our next battle, so they're just supplementary to whatever we can get out. State objective. Instructions received. We set everyone to jump as a group. We serve we'll the gather them over here. Mark them as group one for now. Negotiation is irrelevant. Initiating new directive. Alright, so we still don't know who our enemies in this area are. Relocate to Let's grid. prepare now to jump. If we warp in here and let's target Proceed the Jaeger center. first so that the fighters start weakening. Although it's a ways away. Assimilate this vessel. Yeah, let's go for that one. We've got a few interceptors closing in first, so Assimilate attack this, this condor vessel. and follow up with the Jaeger. Array. And then the other condors can go down. And let's get out two more probes, and that should be all the probes we need. And order up that last tritanium that, or dilithium node. We have our first adaptation node, and if we get a logistical development here, we could place another one on this planet, which would, in fact, be a lot easier than setting one up on the asteroid, but it would cost more. Alright, the Jaeger is going down now, so that should be easy enough. Station construction complete. So we're gonna have to be quick and get our logistical development out soon. That way we can actually get this planet without having to wait too long. The longer we wait, the more we're at risk in the later game. We need to keep pushing outwards. So what we can do is we can get enough for tier 1 colonization by placing an adaptation node here, and then get two more, one on each of these planets, and then we can get this planet, and that should clear us out for a while, although we'll need the tier 5 hydrocarbon pretty soon. Alright, we still have a scout cube going around. I'd like a second. But that's going to cut into our resources, which we need right now for our labs. Actually, we could put another lab back here. Construction complete. Because we can get a logistics slot and expand that. Yeah, we'll put another lab back on Altai. The Torre is now captured. Objective. And if we clear, we don't need to worry about those, Initiate they're just fighters. Let's gather together and head Initiate out to Kozai right now. We need a bit more in terms of dilithium. That's going to be our major limiting factor for a while. Dilithium is very difficult in this position. We have few dilithium mines. Proceed to sector. It's probably going to serve as our primary reason to go to other regions, because otherwise we're going to be struggling this whole time. Alright, that adaptation node is going to take a while, but we can go in and we're going to need 600 credits and 100 dilithium. Dilithium is going to be our limiting factor for now. Activate all Let's attack this frigate and that one. Now, our colonization is currently first, but we're behind in research because our research, we have to go a very specific way right now to keep expanding. We're also going to have to play a very uh, capital ship heavy game because once we get into the late game they're gonna have lots of frigates and we won't be able to outnumber them with powerful frigates. Our frigates are very weak later in late game. Which is strange to say. Let's purchase some dilithium 
so that we can be in a position to get out this extra stuff. And we only need the tier 1 for now. So we'll order up a tier 1. We want to get the collective experience upgrade as soon as possible, so I'm going to start selling stuff to get that. It'll reduce costs and increase rates and everything. It's really one of the best upgrades that I can get. So we're going to want to rush through this tree to get these ones, because 60% cost decrease on everything is very good. Alright, looks like we're in the same system as a Klingon force, so we want to make sure to be able to fight them. Two shattered planets over here would be good for Dilithian mines, but we need to be careful going that far out. And we'd also be cut off by pirates, which I don't want to do right now, but we might have to because of how little Dilithium there is around here. Station construction complete. Now, we need to make sure to keep upgrading these to not lose as much to uh, planetary upkeep. All if we get the first fleet there, then they can colonize as soon as possible. There we go, that should deal with the underdevelopment tax. And soon we'll have Kozai, and then we can see about getting to Basilius, which would be a very useful location to hold. Alright, collective experience is done. And the adaptation node is being built now. Which means we'll have tier 1 colonization very soon. We get another adaptation node here and another one at Kozai. We can immediately move in and get Basilius, which will speed up our metal production mainly. We'll have a, an excess of metal, I think, will be our position. We'll be selling a lot of metal. We also are in the same system as the Cardassians. We're going to need to be careful if they choose whether they choose Dominion or uh, if they choose to use the Cardassian Union. Either way, it's going to be a bit of a problem, but one is more of a threat to us than the other. I'm more, I don't want to fight Dominion if we can avoid it. Alright, we're getting the necessary research now. If we get an adaptation node at our capital, and we get the next one over here at Vittore, then we can start researching Tier 3 colonization and immediately move in to Basilius. We have some extra metal, as predicted. State objective. Good. How long until we get that research done? It's gonna be a little while. Alright, get the adaptation node up. Additional technology yeah. acquired. Colonization should only take us a few seconds. And then we can move this fleet out over to this other to the other location. Alright, colonization complete. Instructions received. And this should put us in a position where we can hold most of the planets right around us. We're going to need to decide which way we, act, we actually want to expand immediately, immediately afterwards. If we send a scout cube up this way, we can get an idea of what's up here. I'm predicting the Klingons are up in this corner. If we're unlucky, there's going to be another faction over here. But otherwise, I think we can keep pushing through this. We are the Lord. Although that Metreon Nebula may make things very difficult. Although... It shouldn't be too bad because we can get high hull repair rates. So we should be able to survive it without much problem. Now, we don't need to expand the fleet yet, but we will need to rush out these command upgrades a lot, because we need tons of capital ships. It's the only real way to work, uh, to play the board. We focus that frigate, we go up that line. That should deal with them. We don't want to deal, we don't want to have underdevelopment tax right now, that's gonna cost us a lot. 
So we'll focus on that and then we'll get out the necessary research to, ca to colonize this uh, geometallic planet. By your command. That's the class F is going to be a major metal mining outpost. If we could get the hydrocarbon, we would have a, a huge advantage mining wise. But I feel like it's a bit of a push, but we need to keep push keep expanding, and it's the only place we can really expand to. We get the scout to look up this way, we can see what's up that way. Alright, they're all going to place bounty on me. I'm the only person they want to place bounty on, so... If any bounty is placed, it's going to be on me, and I need to make sure that it's not... and that it doesn't hit me. So I'm going to sell my metal and dilithium. Negotiation is irrelevant. You enforces here. As expected, we'll place extra on Task Force 7. They're the normal difficulty, so if we keep Isolated them under attack, we can make sure that they don't get too powerful. The collective must grow. No, that's Initiate a stupid way to get there. Alright, we'll go up through the Metreon Nebula and then past the Hydrocarbon. We are the Borg. And hopefully there's something up there that we can use. Meanwhile, this scout is going to check up here. So if the Klingons are actually up here, that's going to be very good, because that means we can expand here without facing too much of a threat. And that would allow us to set up a uh, base of operations and then attack the Klingons and establish Sherman's planet? That's, it's a debris field, not a planet that needs a bunch of plants. But we can set up a barrier along here to push back the Cardassians from. Make sure that we wrap around, because this is going to be too difficult to fight through. I'm not flying through three, through three, four even, uncolonizable areas just to reach a possible enemy planet. Activate all alcoves. Alright, the last enforcer is almost down, and we have our tier 3 colonization. We go ahead and order colonization now. We get another upgrade on this ship. And... I'd like to get more adaptation nodes out. Or assimilation nodes, pardon. Because those are going to be more effective in what we need to get done. I don't want to push more adaptation nodes out now because we don't need them so much. So if we get an assimilation node here at Kozai, we'll at least be able to get out uh, obelisks pretty soon, and possibly even the Borg Queen, which would be a good addition to the fleet. So we're going, we're going to get that, and that should put us in a position to hit whatever we see ahead. All right, there's a Badlands Nebula, which just would be a pain to fight in. So we're going to stay out of it for now. Easy enough, since it's on the other side of a star. Stay now a scout cube ready. should be able to tell us what's on the other side. It should get out just fine. If the Klingons are up here, then that's going to pose a bit of a problem. But I, I just highly doubt that they are going to be much of a threat. If, since they're so close to us, we're going to be pushing out faster than they do, and we can get an advantage there. Let's order up obelisks and work towards getting the queen. There we go. Let's order up queen research. I'd like to use the board queen, but again, we're going to need more command slots, which is expensive. We're going to need them, so let's get that, and we'll get the queen to jump into Basilius. While we're here, we'll turn off autocast because we don't want them automatically jumping in. The collective must grow. It's looking like the Klingons are either up there pulling their ship back or they're exploring up there because they haven't Station seen something. Complete. Klingons are up here. Alright, we're pushing up to there. Let's get an adaptation node or two, because we need to take the hydrocarbon. There's no way around it. We need the hydrocarbon, because the Klingons are all the way over here.
over ravenous over here so their main Proceed colony suite is on this side which means if they're up here we can secure a bit here and make sure we have a nice base to work from wait a second Proceed to sector. the scout cube was instantly destroyed Station construction complete. Maybe I should Relocate be a bit more worried than I am. New directive. Okay, let's try and take out this vessel. cruiser. We're gonna have to be careful with this battle. Let's get some armor out while we can. That would it'll come up even if we finish the lab. We need to win this. They can Tholian web us. We don't have much to counter our Tholian web. Kill the Aratoms as soon as possible. Because they can instantly destroy any of our ships. Let's get some extra ones of those out. And maybe start getting their dodecahedrons produced. Your command. I assume those are the ones that are casting the Thonging Web. Maybe we should have been a bit slower to attack the Thonings. That might have helped. Alright. Only two more cruisers left, and if I'm right, that means only two more cruisers can actually, or only two more units can cast Thonian webs. We don't want to deal with those. Those are going to kill our fleet fast. Stay new directive. Additional technology and one more caster. Begin assimilation. Unassimilated species identified. Yep, there's another Thelian web. And we should be fine now. If only the Incubus and the Frigates left, we should be able to kill them all off without much difficulty. We're down an interceptor. And apparently down a probe as well. Station construction complete. Activate all alcoves. And the quicker we kill these frigates, the quicker we get this planet. I'd also like to order up another scout, but we don't Additional have much. There we go. Alright, so Klingon Capital is here. I'm not the sure if they've actually grow. expanded. It'd be great if they haven't, because it would mean they're actually going this way to get this shattered Relay planet. And that they don't have I'm much this way. They do have things this way. Why were they going in the Cerulean that direction? Alright, I think it's safe to say that there is no one up here, as we've only seen ships from the Fourth Order and the House of Lord. Lord. Hmm. If we kill off all these frigates, let's actually go ahead and order. Order up the colonization research first, which will require an adaptation node that we don't have. Adaptation node. And then we need the research for it, so let's sell a few of those. Sell extra resources to get up these mining nodes, because extra metal will help. I'd rather have more... I'd rather have more dilithium since we're running low on that, but otherwise it should be, it should be alright. Now one thing we do need is resource nodes, but that's going to take a bit of setting up to work with. By your command. And if we send the this extra fleet this way, received. we're going to change how they get there actually. I'd like them to work Initiate through Sargon. I don't want them flying through a pirate base. That's going to kill a lot of them. We and we send Lord. this scout then on explore. Just instructions received. Run and explore. 
and we now know what's all up in this corner. There's a wormhole. If these two connect, that's fine. If these both go to the other stars, that's worrying. Also, the faster we get interstellar travel, the better. Because then we can travel to whichever one turns out to be empty. And if we have that early, the enemies will not be able to secure it for themselves. So let's try and get that, but let's not focus too much on it. Focusing too much is going to cost us. An extra level of that research would, should help our ship stay alive a bit better. And we can get the queen as soon as we get our drone research done. Go ahead and colonize this planet. Alright, a scout cube is going we through the, the pirate base. Not sure why. Additional Fine. technology acquired. Station construction complete. We could Additional rush deep space beacons, acquired. but I feel like we need to make sure our home front is protected by gate. We order up tier 4 colonization as well. We should be able to go for this gas giant and push against the Klingons before they're even ready to counter us. There we go, this planet is now ours. Let's grab the first fleet. Add on this group. Initiating new directive. And if we need it, the wormhole. Which is gonna take a while, but we can do that. No, don't go through the pirate day. Relocate to grid. It's gonna take a bit longer, but it's all good. State new directive. Now if we start getting things together for research for resource nodes, we should be able to boost our economy and help speed up production and get us more credits, which is currently one of our most important things to Additional do. Technology acquired. We haven't gotten anything on Basilius. We're gonna lose a lot of money to Basilius if I don't hurry with this. Let's go ahead and buy some dilithium so that we can get more done. I realize we just completely lost the ability to get the upgrade. At least one upgrade should hold us for now. Your we could go straight in, and I Relocate think we shall. Proceed to sector. So we'll go in and we'll try and take down this Darmok exploration cruiser. And by killing it, we can at least secure a better Initiate fight on our front. How, much, how many dodecahedrons do we have right now? We have three. Let's get Station two more. Perhaps three more would do the trick. I have a sort of construction system that works for fleets, for fleet compositions, but it only really works when you have long-range frigates, which we don't have with the board. So that entire system is going to not work. So I'm going to have to sort of improvise we as it goes. Begin assimilation. The collective must grow. Maybe we want to send more ships up front. Species targeted for assimilation. We get a more instant attack. State new directive. We are the Borg. Exterminate. The collective must grow. Keep the pirates off our back because I don't think we're in a position to hold off pirate raids. We are the Borg. We're too Target spread thin. Acquired. We don't have a second fleet to help defend us. So, a pirate raid would be devastating. I said no pirate raids. Now this is going to hurt in the long run because there's going to be a large bounty on our heads. If we... If we prepare to fight the next pirate raid, then that should put us in a position where we're not in too much danger. We need to be ready for the next pirate raid, though. We can't just... Uh, wait for it to happen. But that means we need to keep this one off our backs for now. And if we do manage to kill off this pirate base, then we get this entire area free of pirates, which although it means we can't use them against our enemies, by the time we're in a position to kill them all, to kill off the pirates, they shouldn't be here anymore. 
Seven mil. They're going to attack you, not me. All right, the exploration cruiser is going down. Its shields are out. And there we go. Pirates are hitting the t pirates are hitting the Federation. We'll go ahead and clear out this exploration cruiser and colonize the gas giant. And I think in our next push, we can go for Euphorion and then push right to their capital. If we attack early, there won't be much they can do. We could clear out the Klingons in one push. Which would be impressive, to say the least. We what we will need is another fleet. We need to have a way to actually defend on this front. And we can do that by setting up a fleet based around the Queen. By having the board Queen up here, we can actually better we can have a decent fleet started. We're going to need multiple capital ships per fleet, but for now, since we need to rush out multiple fleets to deal with more threats, having another fleet around here, led by the Queen, should be perfectly fine. And the exploration cruiser is going down. Now we will need transwarp gates. I'm thinking if we get transwarp nodes at the, at the capitals and perhaps at Kozai. There's two places named Kozai. This could be confusing. We'll, we'll have to rename that one. Uh, but if we have a transwarp node here, we can actually get our fleets to Oregay and jump out very quickly. It would also provide a nice access to the wormhole at Antigone. So holding that, I think, is our next goal. And there we go, we have that colonized. We'll order up a bit more over here in terms of infrastructure. But I think that'll be all for this episode. Until next time, we'll make sure and crush the Klingons with our Borg hammer. But until next time, goodbye.